It is official, Apple is working on fixing the iPad and giving us what we've been asking for for years now. And I'm not just talking about leaks or rumors and people that are in the industry. This is straight from Apple because they were just granted new patents that they filed showing off connecting the iPad to a keyboard and getting a full macOS-like system. We have tons of images, a lot of details. So we're gonna take a look at all of those we're also going to take a look at what people have been mentioning about software that's being created and worked on, as well as when we can expect to get this into our hands. Now, you guys know that when the iPad with the M1 chip came out, it blew our minds, it blew your minds. It was an amazing step in terms of hardware. But when it came time for the software side, iPad OS 15 really disappointed us. We have this crazy hardware, we have Thunderbolt, we have these amazing displays, but the software is very lacking and you still have issues. For example, you can't even format a hard drive if you don't have a Mac computer. A lot of times it gets corrupted and it's just crazy the certain limitations that we have. And of course, so many of us were expecting pro applications for this hardware, but that didn't come out. Well, now we have a ton of good news. Now, it is so exciting and cool to finally have confirmation of this because we've been talking about the recent leaks and info. For example, Apple working on a version of Final Cut for iPad. Apple also working on guest accounts to give this device more flexibility and functionality. And of course, Mixer, which is what they are calling it internally based on sources, which is the smart system for iPad OS that is also shown in these patents. Now you'll still have apps full screen, but then when you connect it to a keyboard, it can shrink and run like an actual desktop operating system with way better multitasking. Now good news for those of you guys who don't have or don't want to buy an expensive keyboard, Apple's also working on extra functionality just with the Apple Pencil, for example, having stacks in the dock that are activated. And they've been working on this for pretty much a year now. And all this info and schematics have led to multiple high level people talking about this new system for iPad OS. For example, we have Mark German who works for Bloomberg that is one of the most accurate leakers with a lot of insider information talking about how this could work with his, what he calls pro mode, which kicks in when you connect a keyboard and a trackpad, which is exactly what these patents show. And alongside the standard controls that we now have, the extra features and capabilities with the Apple Pencil, which Apple has been working on, and then of course, that pro mode that just makes it much more usable and professional. For example, Mac-like multitasking with the ability to have several windows opened up and stacked with each other, which is pretty much spot on, and a much more powerful dock where you can pin files, you can minimize apps, be able to go into shortcuts just like Mac OS, and then with that, just a proper desktop where you can have different folders set up, links, it just gives you a lot of info and also small apps that you could just launch and have open. And now let's just go ahead and look at those patents. This is on Patently Apple, which tracks all of Apple's patents. And right away, we see what looks pretty much like a laptop with a detachable uh, display, but it's thicker, so it is an iPad. We see it disconnected here on the left with a little short but long connector that gives us a standard hinge, which makes it just like a laptop where you have full control of your angle, which you don't get as much control with the Apple Magic Key. Keyboard. Now, I do want to point out that these patents aren't exactly what comes out. Certain things are shown for the patent purposes, but the look could be different. And then as soon as it is connected here, we have this, which is huge to confirm what Apple's working on. It literally looks like Mac OS. We have two windows that are labeled, window one, window two, one above the other. So it's not the side-by-side -side multitasking that we have right now that is really limited. And at the same time, we have icons there on the left-hand side. And up top, look at that. We have Finder, File, Edit, View, Go, Window, Help. This is crazy. This is exactly what I wanted for the M1 iPad Pro. 
Now we can continue scrolling down here and we get a lot more information uh, on this design. So we have the Apple's patent, which has a hinged keyboard accessory that has multiple installation modes for a tablet computing device. So it is for a tablet. Now what really stands out to me, other than the look here, is the connector. Now once again, this could be different for the actual version, but this is not what we have on the current iPads. Now we have the connector right there at the bottom and it shows exactly where it connects on that hinge and we have that really you know long hinge right there which they call the coupling mechanism now the smart connector is on the back underneath the apple logo right now so that would require a keyboard like the magic keyboard which has a full back that magnetizes to it and makes that connection but this looks different that also gives me some concerns which we'll talk about in a bit but let's keep looking now we have this connection right here. We have the full adjustability. They have a lot of different figures. And then we also see it completely closed right there with the hinge that gets stuck to it without any backing. Now, when we scroll down here, we get extra info. For example, over here, we see the Apple Pencil there and how it's held, being held on pretty much to where what looks like that hinge. So it's almost like another spot for it to magnetize. We see those little two sections for magnets. Uh, and then when you do that, we have a little pop down that gives you the battery information. Um, and then over here, we see that connection interface with three pins, just like the smart connector, but in a different spot. And right above that, uh, we actually see sections for magnets both on the keyboard accessory and on the iPad itself. And then what's very interesting is right here, figure 8B, it says that we have a camera, a projector, a light, and a microphone right there in that spot. Now that's very interesting because if we go ahead and look down and we actually read these notes, it says that that image that Apple made could provide a connection interface that support adding other accessories such as a camera, a projector, microphone, or a light. Now that is very weird, but there we have it. We have all this detail on design, features, things they're patenting, and exactly what they want to do. Now here is where it gets weirder, much weirder. We scroll down and we look at this image, which Apple's calling the modularized computing and input devices. Uh, so we have a screen here, we have the keyboard, and we also have that dock, but it looks like the keyboard is removable. It pops off and then 106 looks like another iPad. So here we have you know, the standard connection with the keyboard and you actually see a little slim line showing where the keyboard can pop off, which is weird. And then another tablet or maybe just a screen connecting to that, giving us this double laptop with twice the screen space. Now this just seems weird. It's called the dual display configuration. And this is from Apple, what they patented. And then that brings me to Mark Gurman's uh, leak talking about a mysterious 20 inch foldable that could be a MacBook iPad hybrid with a touchscreen keyboard. Now, when this came out, I thought it was crazy. Like who would want that? Would Apple really work on that? We don't even have a foldable iPhone yet. Um, but he was talking about Apple working on this. Uh, and now we actually have Apple's patent that they filed and it was approved for just this actual device. Very crazy. Now, personally, I don't care about this. I care about running a desktop UI, hopefully Mac OS and then pro apps for the iPad, giving us capabilities that could actually match the hardware. We have the M1 chip, we have the same eight and 16 gigs of RAM, just like in a MacBook, it's running, you know, Apple's own chips. So all the software is capable to run on there. It's just Apple that is holding the, you know, everything back. And that's why so many people were upset with the iPad. Now, with all of this said, what are some main questions we have? Well, first, when will this come out? Going back to this illustration, which is what Apple's working on in May of 2021, a year ago, this is for iPadOS 16, showing these updates right here. That means that some of these new features and things Apple's been working on are gonna be coming out soon. In a month, we have WWDC with the beta launches, and then of course, in the fall, them coming out. Now, the question is, is this new UI gonna be coming out at that same time? Well, we will find out very soon, uh, but before that, what really makes me think that this needs to come sooner than later is because 
iPad sales have been falling dramatically. Lately, they fell 14%, which is huge, while at the same time, everything else, iPhones, Macs, the sales have been increasing. And why are people not buying iPads? Well, the Macs are incredible. They're very fast, battery life is great. You have all the software on the iPad, even though we have M1, even on the iPad Air now, the software just isn't there. So if Apple really wants to start selling more iPads, more accessories, it would make sense to finally give us the software we've been ask asking for and push up sales that way. Now, the second question is which iPads will this support? Well, the info that we have even before these patents and about Apple developing the smart system is that it should be M1 iPad exclusive. Now, it makes sense for multiple ways. First off, you know, they're gonna be for the more expensive iPads, which now are cheaper thanks to the iPad Air. And second, with that same M1 chip being in there, it's the same one that's in the MacBook. So as far as software and tuning, it should work fairly easily and that makes it a lot nicer. Now, the other question is, what do you need for this to happen? Is it gonna be with just the Magic Keyboard or is it gonna be with something that is more expensive like we saw in those patents? These images show us a whole nother keyboard accessory with a different dock with different pins. Of course, it doesn't have to be like this. This could be just for their patent purposes, but it would be terrible if Apple decided, hey, we're gonna have Mac OS on iPad, but we want you to buy the brand new iPad with this new keyboard in order uh, for you to get that. Now that would get a lot of people to upgrade from their older iPad Pros, but it would be a bummer and a lot of people would be upset. Now, possibly this could be a new iPad with some different changes. And then, you know, if you get the new one, you're just gonna have this newer style of device, but I really hope it's gonna come to all the iPads uh, that have the M1 chip. I think that would make a lot of sense. So there you guys go. We have all these patents, all the leaks, everything is coming together. We have one month until WWDC. Go ahead and click that subscribe button above to help us reach our goal of 1 million subscribers. We're gonna be covering everything at that event. Check out one of these great videos right over here. This has been Max and I'll see you in the next video.